So today I'm working with two DJI Osmo action cameras. So one camera is completely dead, which is common issue, especially with the first cameras which came out. I do believe that that problem is now fixed, but uh, another camera is fully working, but it has a crack on the back screen, so it's not waterproof anymore. So what I'm attempting to do today is just swap internals from the good camera to kind of that camera which has very good body. So I have one fully working camera and another one will just stay as my parts camera. And uh, while I'm doing this, I will do a small testing as well to find out which internal part actually causes this dead camera problem. I have concerns that that could be the main board, but which exactly it is, we will find out in this video. So let's get to the work. So the first thing what we need to do is remove the lens cover and if your one is very hard to remove, there is a trick. All you need is just a rubber piece which you can wrap around. Something like that. Now you have enough grip to kind of open the lens itself. So this I have the dead cameras and, and this one is fully working one so we will start with taking apart the dead one. So how to take apart the Osmo action camera you can find online so I'm not gonna repeat that I will just simply fast forward all this process.
So this is how it's gonna look and sound from the DJ Osmo Action. So how does it perform after my big swap? So what I did, I did first of all try the faulty board from the good body camera and I put it in working camera which was which was working before I put that board in and uh, that camera didn't turn on so that's for sure tell us that the fault is in the main board itself uh, but apart from that what I did I did swap as well the USB type C port which is uh, coming together with the wireless uh, board and the SD card board as well so I did notice that there is a bit difference between them so that was the reason why I did that swap and then before I was putting everything back together in good body camera I did notice that there is a bit water damage in one of the kind of uh, boards which is responsible for recording button there is as well uh, one of the mics is located an LED and uh, yeah so that could be probably the reason why that board was faulty but it's just probably the reason as i'm not sure what exactly happened with it but uh yeah that says that there was a little bit leak probably from the microphone port because that's only place where water could actually get in because anything else inside in the camera was like not damaged at all so only that one corner so yeah from here this is how it's all now working. I still need to do a test and put this camera in the water, but let me enjoy a little bit and uh, then I will do the test at some point just to make sure that it's uh, properly sealed. I hope you enjoyed this small video and this gave you some information that those cameras can be repaired and internals can be swapped. Uh, I have something much more bigger coming for this camera, so if you are interested to see that one, stay tuned and I will see you on the next one. Ciao!